Uh, this next viewer rant is from Sandra in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Hello, Sandra. And I uh, hope, I hope dearly that Bridgeport is treating you well because uh, Bridgeport, I believe, is like the most dangerous city in Connecticut. Uh, so please, Bridgeport, do not harm Sandra. Uh, Sandra says, John, I cannot stand the concept of dinner. I understand starting your day off with breakfast and maintaining sanity for said day with lunch, but dinner? Absolutely not. I refuse to end the day with food because it gives me a tummy ache in the middle of the night. I cannot sleep if my stomach is going to be painfully whiny to no end. Now, I'm sure you're saying to yourself, viewer, if you're eating dinner early in the evening, the food should be well digested by the time you go to bed. Wrong, John. I'm unemployed and thus too lazy to follow a normal, healthy three meal schedule. Having no job to go to day after day, I find myself waking up at 12 noon day after day. As a result, I eat breakfast when I should be eating lunch, 12 noon. I eat lunch when I should be eating dinner, around 5 p.m. And I eat dinner when I should be asleep with that dinner already digested, around 12 midnight. You're probably saying I should just transition to the normal routine to prevent these stomach aches and thus restore any respect I had for the concept of dinner. But honestly, John, I don't know when I'll be working again. As long as I'm unemployed, it's just a waste of time to go about a normal routine as if I was, unemployed, as if I was employed. Do you get my drift? I hope you do. Anyway, I gotta go. My Hot Pocket is ready to come out of the microwave and I just can't miss today's episode of General Hospital. Yesterday's cliffhanger had me on the edge of my seat. Bye. Uh, that was Sandra in Bridgeport, Connecticut. So Sandra and Dan, <laughs> thank you very much. Sandra, I just dropped you. I hope you appreciate that. Um, viewer rants, if you have any more, please submit them to me at facebook.com slash many moments 91. Facebook.com slash many moments 91. I believe there is a message section if not, then go to the comment section uh, or the post section and uh, you can post whatever you should please there. Um, I will gladly read your stuff on the air as long as it's not profane or sexually suggestive in any way.